Welcome to the Greg Cast. It is Greg, and it's elementary, my dear. Today is about respecting life. Listen to this quote from Albert Schweitzer. By respect for life, we become religious in a way that is elementary, profound, and alive. Today marks the anniversary of the Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade decision regarding the issue of abortion in our land. To mark that anniversary, a tradition has evolved as many tens or hundreds of thousands of Americans march on Washington, D.C. The goals and statements of the various individuals and groups who march are varied, but all in all, the March for Life is about sharing a healthy respect for life in a way that hopes to influence and guide our country's decision-making and moral fiber. Let there be no doubt of the March's emphasis on life. It is a resounding and peaceful request on the part of many to simply ask that the court repeal its decision that it made so long ago and protect the life of the unborn. It is that simple, and it is that profound, and it is all about life. Now, in my own opinion-making, I tend to gravitate towards the simplistic, as you can tell. I grasp concepts rather than the little minute details. So I'm not going to break open the, the details of the countless numbers of issues that have been attached to the coattails of today. But what I do hope is that you understand that life is sacred, and all life deserves respect. I guess you could say that's why I love Avatar, even though my own church's leadership calls it kind of boring. It was a simple tale, and it's a really cool special effect filled movie, but it offers a profound challenge to us all. We're all connected here. We're all connected, so therefore we should all respect. The quote from Albert Schweitzer, by respect for life we become religious in a way that is elementary, profound, and alive, is incredibly poignant, but it has a lot of similarity with Jesus' quote from John's Gospel when he said, I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The nature of both quotes embraces a simple truth. Respecting life helps one to live that life in a way that becomes significant and purposeful. So it is elementary, my dear. When we respect the life around us, especially the precious life of a human child or that of a fragile environment, we become not only more religious, we become more alive. And I guess that's what drives our purpose to respect the lives and the needs of the people of Haiti, to respect the lives and the needs of the people of our own country, to respect the lives and the needs of the unborn. It's a simple truth. Life is worth living. I don't know, that's just the way I see it. So let's pray for life today. Let's pray for respect. Let's pray for the strength to share a life-giving spirit with those who need it the most, the fragile, the precious, the needy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, let's rock on. Greg Cass, signing off. God bless. See ya.